How do you create a dynamic chart title based on a user selection on a slicer? Well, in today's video, I'm going to show you exactly that. Welcome, my name is Millen, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a dynamic chart title like this. As you can see, we have a chart, Total Internet Sales, which looks at the total internet sales per year and month. What we want is this chart title to be dynamic. So if a user were to make a selection, such as bike stands, then as you can see, the chart title changes on its own. In this video, I will show you how to do this. So what you're seeing is our current dashboard. We have a bar chart which shows the total internet sales by year and month. What we want to do is have a filter selection that filters based on product subcategory and at the same time updates the title at the top of the chart. So how do we do that? Well, the first thing we need to do is add our slicer. And well, the first thing we need to do is bring in a slicer. The second thing we need to do is bring in our field. Now, based on this alone, what we can do is make a selection for instance, bike stands. And as you can see, the entire page filters, it changes based on our selection, which is good, but we're only halfway there. What we want now is the total internet sales to change dynamically based on the selection. All right, so let's be clear on exactly what we want. If a user were to select, let's say bottles and cages, we want total internet sales dash bottles and cages. If a user were to select bike stands, we want total internet sales dash bike stands. Now, what if a user were to make multiple selections such as bike stands and bottles and cages? Well, in this case, we want total internet sales dash multiple subcategories. And if no selections are made, then we just want total internet sales. So now that we're clear on what we want, we can figure out what it is we need to do to get there. So in order to make this work, we want to create a custom measure. So let's create a new measure in our measure table and let's call it dynamic chart title. The first thing we want this measure to do is to return a variable that is equivalent to the value selected in the filter. So let's create a new variable and let's just call it sub category value equals. Now, it's very simple. If there is a selected value, we want to return the selected value. So selected value, which is our DAX measure and our column name is simply the product subcategory. Now we can check if this works by simply returning the subcategory value. Let's put this new measure in a card to test that it works. Right, so we currently have a blank, which is what we would expect because there is nothing selected. Let's select bike racks. And what happens? The value returned is the same as the one chosen in our filter. Now let's select multiple. What do you think will happen? Well, because we haven't told Power BI what to do if more than one value was selected, we can check this. There we are, we have a blank returned. So that's the first part of our measure done. Now we need our measure to become dynamic. So, instead of returning the subcategory value, we actually want to return a string that is used in the chart title. Okay, now this is a part of the function which will return the full string that we will use for the title. So remember our logic at the beginning. If the filter is filtered, and there is only one value, then we want to return that one value at the end of our string. 
So let's do that first. If is filtered product sub category, then if this is true, you next need to check if there is one value. So if has one value product sub category, then we want to return our full string, which is total internet sales dash and our value. And our value is stored in the variable subcategory value. Okay, so that's the first part of our string done. But what if this is false? If the return is if the result is false, it means that there isn't as one value, it means there are more than one values. So what we want to return is total internet sales mul multiple subcategories. So if the product subcategory filter is filtered and there is only one value, then we return total internet sales and the value. But if it doesn't have one filter, so if it has more than one filter, then we return total internet sales, multiple subcategories. Now we need to close off this expression. What if it's not filtered? What if this is false? So if this is false, then we need to end this part of the if statement. So if it is false, then we simply return total internet sales. Close it off, and there we are. Now we can check this works by going back to our chart. We can add in this title, so we can use the fx function. We want to format by field value, and the value is our dynamic chart title measure. So let's see if this works. Currently we have no filter selected and we have total internet sales, which is great. That's a good start. Now let's select one filter. Let's go with bike racks again. Total internet sales bike racks. Perfect. Let's try it with something else. Bottles and cages. And you can see that it works. Now let's try a multiple selection. And what should we expect? Total internet sales dash multiple product subcategories. And there we are. Total internet sales dash multiple subcategories. So as you can see, this works as expected. And this is simply all you need in order to create a dynamic chart based on a slicer selection.